Hi everyone, this is Anandal. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another one of my Tutorial Tuesday videos. For the month of September, we're going to be looking at spiral notebooks to honor the beginning of a new school year for some people. You might recognize this notebook I'm holding. This one I featured in a video that I did last year. This one is using these jump rings at the spine, which is holding the front cover and the interior pages and the back cover together. But for this tutorial, we're going to change that up a bit. The other notebooks here on this table, they are using real metal coils at the spine. So we're going to be looking at using that real coil. It makes it more authentic and genuine to our life-size notebooks. This one has blank paper. Some of these have lined paper in it. I'm also going to show you how to make an interior pocket folder like this one you can put small pieces of paper inside. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll show you what tools and materials you're going to be needing. To make your notebook, you'll want to decide what type of paper you want to use on the interior of your notebook. I'll be using a combination of both lined paper and blank paper. For the front and back cover, I'll be using this packaging material, which is like a thick cardstock. On the inside of the notebook, besides the actual pages, I'm going to make a divider with these colored papers. For the tools, I am using this craft knife with a ruler to cut everything out straight. You can use scissors, but make sure you are cutting out straight lines. I'm using this thick needle with a plastic pearl at the end. It is what I'm using to puncture the holes through my pages and through the cover. The plastic pearl gives you a better grip to puncture those holes. Lastly, I'm using these retractable pens and pencils. I'm marking out the outline of my pages before I cut them out and marking the places I want to puncture the holes before I use my needle. Finally, you can also use these if you have an old retractable pen. Maybe the ink is running out. You can unscrew it, remove the ink, and on the inside of the pen, there is a tiny spiral that you can use for the spiral of your notebook. So now we're going to cut down our pages to the correct size. Now I have the majority of the pages and the covers all cut out. Here I've got the front cover, which has not been decorated. I will be gluing on a pattern paper, this one right here, using a glue stick. And then for the first half of the notebook, I have this line paper. In between the line paper and the blank sketchbook paper, I've used this cardstock from some packaging and I've made a little tab divider. So here you can see the tab on the side. I'm going to be covering this in some colored paper. Then we have the blank sketchbook papers. And then lastly, the back cover. I'm going to show you the beginnings of the pocket folder. I'm going to be using this leftover envelope that I have. You can see I've traced some outlines here, but the important part is actually the flap of the envelope. That's going to be the diagonal cut of my folder. So once everything is cut out and glued correctly, I can just stick a piece of paper there in between this angle, which is the actual flap. I'm cutting out a tab at the bottom of this outline. That's going to be what secures the bottom of this flap so the paper doesn't fall through the bottom of the notebook. So I've cut out that outline, leaving the flap on. You can see there is the tab here at the bottom. I'm going to fold it inwards on this line that I've drawn. So 
So folding that inward, I'm going to glue a new piece of paper right here just to give it contrast to that folder. I'm going to glue this bright yellow page right there and cut out the correct outline. The front and back covers, the interior pocket, and the divider are finished with their pattern papers. We're now ready to start puncturing holes in the interior pages. You want to start with the interior pages so that once you mark their holes, you can center them on the cover. So taking one of the inside pages, you take your metal coil. I'm going to be using two of them as opposed to just one. It'll be in a similar style as this, so there's one towards the top and one at the bottom. You want to place one of the coils down at the edge of the page. Using a pencil, mark these edges with your pencil. So it'll be one about here, one here, making sure that it's aligned with this edge of the coil, one here. And those will be your guides to using your needle to puncture in those places. And then you'll do the same here for the bottom. All the pieces have now been pierced using the needle. The needle can also be useful now because we're going to try to align all these holes together. You can take a second needle and put it on the opposite end here. And you can use this to start putting all the pieces together. And now we want to carefully weave the coils through. You should try to go slowly. It won't be a very fast process. finished threading the two spirals here in the holes and then I've just curled the ends so that they're not poking out and they're not sharp. So now the notebook is done. So now you've got a cover using these two spirals as the binding. On the inside you've got your diagonal pocket and then you've got the lined paper here at the beginning of the notebook. And then you've got your divider with a tab. And then you've got the sketchbook portion. And the back. So that's the finished notebook. I hope you like this tutorial. And I'll see you in the next Tutorial Tuesday.